So why confess to a priest if one can talk directly to God? Ano yung pinaka number, no? The answer is God's will. We have to do God's will, not our will, our own will. So is it the will of God that we talk with confess to a priest? Yes. It is God's will that we should confess our sins to His priests. Catechism, paragraph 1495. Only priests who have received the faculty of absolving from the authority of the church can forgive sins in the name of Christ. Catechism 1463 states that the priest has the power to absolve from every sin. So, the priest absolves sin, not in his name, but in the name of Christ. The power... To absolve sin come from Christ, not in His own power. Huh? So, dili ang pare sa iyang kagulingon, wala siya kagulingon sa iyang kagulingahong, but it is true Christ, the only high priest. Objection! How can the Catholic Church teach that the priest can forgive sins when the Bible teaches that God alone forgives sins? True. God alone forgives sins. Mark chapter 2, verse 7. Why does this he, this fellow talk like that. He's blaspheming. Who can forgive sins but God alone? So according to the Bible, God alone forgives sins. And Matthew 9, 6, But I want you to know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. Okay? Only Jesus. Only God. Pero, God can use human instrument to communicate blessing which alone He has the source. For example, huh? ang healing. Diba? The Catholic Church doesn't believe that priests can forgive sins by his own authority. It is in the name of Christ. Ito na nang mention Only, and Catechism the Catholic Church affirm that only God forgives sins. Although, it doesn't mean nga because God is the source of everything. It doesn't mean that dili niya pwedeng it delegate sa iyang human instruments. For example, ang mga miracle, yeah, kabala naman ta sa throughout the Bible, God heals through his disciples, through Peter, through Paul. Acts chapter 3 verse 6. Uh, ningon si Peter, silver and gold I have none. But such I have, I give a thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. So, the question, Asagi ka ng gahong, kay Peter? No, from God alone. But God uses Peter to uh, impart his miracle. 1912, Acts 19 verse 12. Even handkerchiefs and aprons that had touched him were taken to the sick and the diseases and evil spirits left them. So, muta na mo, na by verse, na mga pamatood sa mga sacramentals, like mga uh, relics, mga saints. So, this is an example of biblical proof. Even the handkerchiefs, mga first class relics, mga, ginaga, mga sanina sa mga saints. No? Even handkerchiefs and aprons that had touched him, Saint Paul, Taken to the sick and evil spirits left them. As a result, people brought the sick into the streets. Dili lang kay handkerchiefs. Even just the mere shadow, even just the shadow of Peter might fall on some and them and he passed by and then they were healed. So, nabay, sa, sa, nabay gahom si Peter? Wala. It all comes from God. But God uses human instrument. Even sa pag-preach, God can give illumination of the mind, knowledge to us directly. But God uses human preachers to preach to us. Ningon siya, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, teaching them. So God is the only teacher. But he is commanding us to teach. And even through the scriptures, right? Pwede niyang isulat directly. Pero, nigamit siya human instruments. 
to write the scripture. So, in on sa Romans chapter 10 verse 14. How can they call on the one they have not believed in? And how can they believe in the one whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without someone preaching to them? So, kung saan pag nanginahang lang si God o someone who will preach. He is the source of knowledge but he needs someone to preach because how can they hear without someone preaching to them? So, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring the good news. So, if you help evangelization, God is so pleased with you. And he describes those people as how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. So, he can communicate blessings to, to his human instruments. Huh? And in the Old Testament, there is already confession. Ang mga people nagaconfess na sa priest. Huh? Leviticus chapter 19 verse 20. A man who committed adultery had to bring guilt offering to, for himself to the door of the tent of meeting. Huh? And the priest shall make atonement for him. So, ang sawa niya pag paghatag sa atonement sa pare kung dili niya isulti ang iyang sala ang adultery. So, kung nakakamit siya adultery, the priest will make an atonement for him. The sins we committed shall be forgiven. So, mga mga biblical roots of confession. And then, in Numbers 15, a priest shall make atonement before the Lord, etc., etc. And this Examples in the scripture show that God involved ordained ministers in the forgiveness of people's sins. So he is the first cause of the forgiveness, and the priest is just the instrumental cause. So, primary cause and the instrumental cause. So, mabod sa holy, hol, the holiest day of Jews, Yom Kippur, the day of atonement, ang pare ay mag uh, facilitate sa reconciliation between God and man. Isaiah chapter 58, another verse that proves, no? we are to recognize our sinfulness and to tell it to others. Then we are, then we are to act with justice toward those whom we have harmed. So, muna nga, niyon si Jesus, if if you bring your offering to the altar and you remember that someone is um, angry at you, make peace with that person. No? Leave your offering to the altar and make peace. This is in relation to that uh, statement of Jesus. No? Is it not sharing your bread with the hungry, bringing the afflicted and the homeless into your house, clothing the naked when you see them, and not turning your back on your own flesh? Only then will we be vindicated. Only then will we be forgiven. So, kinahanan ta reconcile. O, ang human priest is an instrument for us to be reconciled with our fellow human being. So, muna lang ating isulti, no? Matthew chapter 5, verse 23. First, go and be reconciled with your brother. Okay. Objection. So, sa Old Testament man to, karon New Testament naman, giwala na ni Jesus ang priest. Wala na priest because Jesus, in the New Testament, is the only high priest. Okay. Is that true? Yes. Jesus is the only high priest. But, Jesus also show an evidence in the Bible that He gave the apostles the authority to forgive sins. John chapter 20, verse 21. As the Father has sent me, even so, I send you. He breathed on them, and He said, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive your sin, if you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. 
So, mauna ang the most important slide in the defense on the sacrament of confession. Nga iangi install ang mga apostles as the first bishops to forgive sins. So, gihatag sa ginoo ang tanan sa iyaha kay Jesus o in his part, he gives it to them. He entrusts it to them. He breathed on them. Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. Truly, in relation to sa, sa gospel ng ating ibasa, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. As the Father has sent me, even so I send you. Huh? So Jesus uses human ministers. So the New Testament makes very clear that Christ sent the apostles and their successors to carry on the same mission. Number one, to proclaim the gospel with the authority of Christ. Huh? All authority in heaven and earth has been given to me. So, to proclaim the gospel. Number two, to govern. So, ang mission sa church, to govern, to proclaim, and to sanctify. Diba? O na. To teach, to govern, and to sanctify through the sacraments. So, sa sacraments, mao ka ng example ano, is the Eucharist and the sacrament of confession. To forgive man's sins in the person of Christ. So, unsaon man, pag, kun, pag forgive sa mga apostles, sa mga sala, sa mga tao, kung dili sila mo kumpisal. Meaning, they have to hear those sins na agyoy uh, verbal confession no? okay, they have to judge if they can give absolution or not in relation sa gisulti ni Jesus whatever you uh, forgive, it will be forgiven whatever you do not forgive it will not be forgiven so, ang pare dili kanunay pwedeng maghatag og absolution they have to judge if that person is can be given absolution if makita niya uh, the person is not contrite does not have true contrition he can withhold the absolution so dili dapat kanunay ang pare maghatag og absolution dili automatic ha huh? O nang sayop na siya ang confession na ipasulat sa papel o isunogon o general absolution nga isunog sa papel ka nang mag-recollection perte gina ka sayop no? di gina pwede uh, pwede lang na siyang general absolution in case of emergency of death like na sa plane crash or na sa barko murang malunod the priest can give general absolution. Okay, everybody, remind yourself of your sins, and I will give you general absolution in case of emergency of death. But in those, remember, Saint Jean Vianney is the feast of Saint Jean Vianney. He spends 16 to 20 hours in the confessional. Dili siya katinamad nga maghatag lang isulat na news papel o sunugon ug okay na that is an abuse of the sacrament and it is going on around in the church right now no? since the apostles were given authority to judge so they have to judge no? according to Saint Padre Pio the confessional is just like a um, parang judgment seat no?
So, another objection. Anong, why don't we hear any more about confession to a priest in the rest of the New Testament? Anong wala naman takadungog na na-confession sa New Testament? Huh? 2 Corinthians chapter 2. So, so ano sumay tubag na to? Tinood ba? Nga, wala tayo makikita nga confessing or confession sa New Testament Bible? The answer is no. Na 2 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 10. Na ang si Sultan Saint Paul. What I have forgiven, if I have forgiven anything, has been for your sake in the presence of Christ. So, Saint Paul is referring to the confession nga siya naghatag og absolution what i have forgiven if i have forgiven anything has been for the sake in the presence of christ so nagpasaylo siya in the name of christ not in his own power so another proof and saint paul gives us the reason why he could forgive the sins of others it's because of jesus second corinthians chapter 5 verse 18 and all things are of God who has reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and has given us to, to us the ministry of reconciliation. So, monang reason nga makaporgive siya because Jesus has given to us so, biblical kayo, the sacrament of reconciliation or the ministry of confession is given to us by Christ. Very clear. This is how you answer those who object na wala tamabasa sa Bible sa confession. All the things are of God who has reconciled us to Himself by Jesus Christ and has given to us the ministry of reconciliation. Huh? Oh, napagyad. James chapter 5, verse 14. Is any man sick among you? Let him bring in the priests of the church. So, gidugiwala ba ni God? Ni Jesus ang priest? Ang priesthood? No. We can read in the New Testament, priest. Kaba yung mga masakiton? Bring in the priest. So he's talking here the sacrament of the anointing of the sick. And let him pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick man. So dali na makita, ang anointing of the sick has two purpose. It can save the sick man. It can heal him. And it can prepare him for death. And the Lord shall raise him up. Diba? Meaning, maluwas ang iyang kalag. Iandam ang iyang kaluwasan. Kung siya pagbuot na sa ginoong ako ako na siya. And if, and if he be in sins, they shall be forgiven him. Confess therefore your sins to one another. So, kinsa maning to one another? Bisa kinsa lang, imong barkada, imong friend? No. Bago lang mention in the previous statement, priest, bring in the priest. So, one another means human being. O kinsa man ang pinaka-best nga human being nga imong kumpisan? Siyempre, ang priest. Because, any human being will will spread your secret. You cannot trust just anyone. The only one you can trust is the priest. Because the priest has the seal of confession. Even in the uh, danger in a threat of death they cannot divulge your sin they have the seal of confession no? pray for one another so that you may be saved for the continual prayer of a just man availed much so kabantay mo in the previous chapter in the previous verse ingan, when someone is suffering let him pray when anyone is cheerful let them sing praise. Pero kabantay mo, when it comes to sickness and when it comes to personal sin, call on the priest. So kung you are suffering, you can pray directly to God. If you are cheerful, you can sing praises directly to God. But if you are sick and if you have sins, call on the priest. Not just anyone. Huh? So, confess our sins to another. So, nga nung dili man confess your sins to priest, confess your sins to one another. Because, nga nung wala nag-mention ang priest, specifically, 
because redundant na ako ni Usulti na po. Because previous verses, Usulti na ang priest. Ang meaning sa uh, elder, sa uban nga version sa Bible, elder ang gigamit, dili ka kakita priest. Ang ubang version, presbyter or sa Greek, presbyteros. Huh? Ang especially kung Protestant Bible ang gamiton, dili isla mo gamit og presbyter or priest. Inahadlok sila. Kaya ma, ma- disprove ang ilang kwat. They will just use elder. But the proper term is presbyteros, it is priest, no? That is why importante ta mo gamit og uh, Catholic Bible. The Catechism identifies the confession of sins to a priest as an essential element of the sacrament of confession. It goes in paragraph 1456 that all mortal sins of which penitents after a diligent self-examination are conscious must be recounted by them in confession. So, ang confession, gihimo specifically for mortal sins. Pwede na itong dili isugid ang venial sin because automatic ma-forgive ang venial sin if we are sorry inside the Mass, in the Holy Mass. So, but, even if without mortal sin, if you go to confession, will be much beneficial because the sacrament of confession will increase our sanctifying grace if we confess even without mortal sin. Huh? So, sayop na nga pagtuo nga you only go to confession if you have mortal sin. Even holy saints go to confession once a month huh? or once every two weeks. Si Saint si Juan, si Padre Pio gusto kayo niya once a week. Eh. Huh? Because confession can help us to become strong against sin. It will make us strong against sin. Okay. Objection. If ni sulti sa Biblia ko no, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive our sins. So mo ni nga mo direkta na mi kay Jesus, kay God mo confess. Dili na kinanglan mo sulti mi sa pare. Tinood na. Okay. When we commit sin, the first thing we do is to ask forgiveness to God directly. You don't wait for the priest. For example, if you commit a mortal sin, dili na ka magulat ug pare para mga ayik pasaylo. If you realize you committed a sin, even venial or mortal, say sorry to God directly. Say sorry to God directly that is how to do it in response to the bible verse if we confess our sins he is faithful and just and will forgive our sins yes ayun ang gulat pare say sorry immediately pray to God say sorry muna yung sayo sa uban kay ah karong lunis pa ko mga umpisal next week pa man Ah, lubos-lubos na na, papoy isa ka sala, buhaton pa na po to no. Stop the sin, immediately stop the sin, do not add to it, kay tingbun lang ni mo, usa lang ka batch, usa lang ka pag pangumpisal. No, stop the sin right now and say sorry. And because if ever you did a perfect act of contrition, only God knows, only God knows if you made a perfect act of contrition out of great love, out of great contrition, out of great repentance. Even without the priest, your mortal sin could be washed away immediately. Even without the priest, your mortal sin could be washed away immediately if you made a perfect act of contrition. Okay? The problem is, you don't have a reassurance. Wala kakabalo if you made a perfect act of contrition. 
So even if you don't know nga nakahimo kag perfect act of contrition, you do it anyway. You do it immediately. Because you are sorry. You do not be legalistic nga ah next week na ang pare dito na lang ko legalistic na mura kag you're not really truly sorry for your sin. You're just making an excuse nga mapalusot nga para you are enjoying sin. No? So say sorry, stop the sin immediately. Malay mo. Your mortal sins have been washed away and the sanctifying grace is already uh, reinstituted in you. But I'm not saying adili na mo confess of when I said na you don't have to wait for the priest, I'm not saying na dili na ka mag-confess sa pare. No, you still have to confess to the priest as soon as possible. Why? Because you are obeying the will of God. Because that is how God wants you to have an assurance. A hundred percent assurance. Physical assurance that you hear the word of Christ that your sins are forgiven. You have to tell it. Even you think, even you said sorry to God in your in your room, nang gisulti kay Jesus, you're sorry in your room, and you feel all your hairs na nindog na, na mura nakita pa kang halo sa imong ulo, na naglutaw-lutaw, na saint na ka, you still have to go to the priest. Because that is the will of God. You don't do your own will. Because in the sacrament, God will bestow sanctifying grace on you. And you have to speak, you tell vocally to admit your sin to the priest. Okay? Take note, nowhere in the Bible you will read that we have to confess directly to God alone. Nowhere in the Bible na nagsulti lang na patawarong ka sa ginoo if you confess him. Pero wala na sulti nga don't confess your sin to the priest. Wala. And only to God alone. Wala po. Huh? So in fact, John's instruction fits with the Catholic view that the confession of sins can be directed to God through the ministry of His ordained priest. Klaro na kaya itong verse nga akong gisulting ang pinaka-importante katong kay St. John Gospel. Huh? Ang word nga confess nga gamit sa Bible, sa Greek, is homologio. And homologio has a public connotation. It's not a private. Just like uh, it means homologio means to acknowledge. Just like in Sultini Jesus nga, whoever acknowledged me before men, I will acknowledge men before him, before my father. Ang word nga acknowledge Ang gigamit ng word sa Greek is homologio. If anyone confess in front of men, I will acknowledge him before my father. So ang acknowledge is public. So confess is a public affair. So there's a priest. It's not just a private thing that you and God alone. And that's it. No? You have to confess your sins to God directly, immediately, and afterwards, you go to a priest. So the confession is tied to the public event of the sin offering performed with the priest. So even in the Old Testament, it is a public event. Mohatag ang pare mo og atonement, mga sacrificial animals, and then if your sin is an adultery, it is an a public event. So Matthew chapter 3 verse 6 Mabasa na to Confessing their sins They were baptized by him The Jordan River Even St. John Nagpa-confess Ang mga tao ni Adto Kung nag-confess sa ilang mga sin And they were baptized in the River Jordan In Acts chapter 19 verse 18 After Paul exercised a demon-possessed girl Many of the Ephesians came confessing and divulging their sinful practices. So, 
Bumangatala sila na abay makita ang mga tao ng umbisal sa New Testament. Here it is. Acts chapter 19 verse 18 of, of several verses nga itong ipakita. Ganiha. And sa Didaki, by the way, ang Didaki, dili ng Didaki nga ginabasa na ito karoon nga kanang kay Bo Sanchez, ang tinuod nga Didaki is the teaching of the 12 apostles nga si Gisulat around 70 to 150 AD. So, diyan nagikuha ni Bo Sanchez ang Didaki nga word. Pero actually, it is a small um, hindi ko pa may booklet sa una, mga parchment siguro. Kanang ang sinulat nga na-recover na nila is the teaching of the 12 apostles which uh, enumerates no? ang mga unsaon pag-perform sa mga sacraments. Just like sample. This is a excerpt from one of the pages of the Didaki. Ningon dito. Confess. So, mo niya ang specific teaching sa early apostles, early early Christians nga wala na apil sa Bible. Didaki. Ningon. Specific ayaw. Confess your sins in church. And do not go up to your prayer with an evil conscience. This is the way of life. On the Lord's day, gather together, break bread, and give thanks. After confessing your transgressions, so that your sacrifice may be pure. So, do not receive communion. Specific na sa una. If you do not confess your sin. So, ang liturgical or common ceremonial practices of the church uh, itong ginapractice ko are thoroughly detailed in the document of the Didaki. Yan itong ginakuha. Pero sad to say, mga Protestants, wala sila nag-honor aning Didaki, mga extra-biblical sources. This is part of the sacred tradition. Huh? So, the Didaki provides Direction on the public worship in the church and furnishes to its reader clear examples of how certain ceremonial activities are to be handled. So the Didaki provides the early church with an instruction manual on how to deal with very complex issues both in personal and public arena. So another objection. So Ningon Sla. Tananta, priest man. Sulti sa Biblia, we are all priests. Sulti sa Peter, you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood. Yeah, that's true. Pagbunyag na to, we are all priest, prophet, and king. We share in the three ministries of Christ. Priest, prophet, and king. But, among the royal priesthood, God chooses ministerial priesthood. Just like He chose the twelve apostles to do his ministerial works just like in the Old Testament sa Old Testament na a universal priesthood na apoy priesthood nga sa Levitical priesthood nga sila lang ang pwede mag handle sa mga ceremonies huh? so Jesus is our high priest he is the only priest and kitatanan we are united in Christ the ministerial priesthood and the royal priesthood. That's why kita, we can say in our prayer, Oh my God, I offer to you the precious blood of Jesus, present in all the altars of the world, united with it, the offering of my every thought, words, and actions of this day. So that is why we can offer His precious blood to God, because we have the right, because we have been baptized, we can, we are a priest. That's why we can offer. But the priest, are the only one who can minister the sacraments. Huh? When Jesus said to them, Do this in remembrance of me. Remember, when Jesus said, Do this, He did not say it to the public. He just say it to the twelve in the upper room. Huh? And Jesus said, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law of the prophets. I have not come to abolish but to fulfill them. So he fulfilled it. He renewed the the line of the ministerial priesthood. No longer from the Levitical, from the family of Levi, but the new priests will come from 
the line of the apostles. Apostolic succession. Huh? So, makita ni mo sa Old Testament na counterpart sa New Testament. Sa Old Testament, Adam and the New. Jesus is the New Adam. Eve and the New Eve is Mary. The bronze snake in the Old Testament, if you look at them, if you look at the bronze snake, you will be healed from the bi snake bite. And the New Testament, the counterpart of the bronze snake is Jesus. Old Testament, circumcision. New Testament, baptism. Ark of the Covenant, New Testament, Old Testament, New Testament, the Ark of the New Covenant is Mary. Passover, and the New, New Testament, it is the Eucharist. Crossing the Red Sea, in the New Testament, is baptism. So, my counterpart. So, wala giwala ni God ang priesthood na agyapon. Lahi na og uh, presentation. Because He will not abolish it, but fulfill it to perfection. So, mga... So, tapag yun. 7 o'clock. Sorry, paspasta. I hope at ay napulot ka ron. Hello, everybody. Sis Linda, hi. Long time no see. <laughs> Sis... Agnes, Brother Glenn, Brother Jeff, Auntie Muying, Uy, si Sis Lia, niya na. Hmm. <laughs> Sige sis, kuwanta, prayer ta. Okay, let us all pray the Hail Mary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary. Full of grace. The Lord is with you. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you, O Lord. And blessed is the Lord of the Lord. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us, Amen. Now, and at the end of the day, Amen. In the Father, the Son, the Lord, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you, Elan. Good evening. Thank you. Thank you. God bless. Thank you, Doc. Thank you. See you next week. Bye. Bye.